Hi, I am Carlos Chacur. I am the principal investigator of the SAINT trial evaluating the efficacy and safety of um, ivermectin against COVID-19. First of all, this was a pilot trial designed to look for a potential signal um, um, in the potential efficacy of ivermectin against treating this disease, this disease when given early. We chose um, young patients without risk factors, so very healthy outside, non-complicated COVID, nobody had pneumonia, and we gave them a single dose of ivermectin in the first 72 hours since starting of fever or a cough. This dose was chosen because it's the maximum dose allowable under the EU label. We follow these patients for 28 days and we had visits a day 4, 7, 14, 21 and 28. We did quantitative PCR and we also did viral cultures and we asked the patients to fill a daily symptoms questionnaire and we also did a serology at day 21. The main findings are that we see a tendency of a lower median viral load in those that were treated with ivermectin. And I say a tendency because the smaller sample size does not allow for a robust um, analysis showing statistical significance. So there is a non-statistically significant difference in the median viral load. The same happens with the antibody titles at day 21. The IgG titles are have this non-statistical significant lower median at day 21. And um, finally, we see um, an interesting reduction in the uh, olfactory deficit in the treated group. We see much less anosmia in the treated group, and this lasts for a shorter period of time when it appears. Any of those three signals, um, when found alone, could be spurious given the small sample size, but all three together, I think it was a very strong signal that these findings need or warrant to be confirmed under larger trials, which could be put together fairly quickly and conducted rapidly to whether answer these questions of whether ivermectin could be useful in early treatment. It also opens the door to, treat, to trials in which um, prophylaxis is evaluated either pre-exposure or post-exposure and I think it also allows us to start testing in in given the safety signal found um, to start testing in patients with more complicated disease or pneumonia. We hope these um, results um, help move forward the agenda in ivermectin using a robust signs to um, underpin it. Thank mm -hmm. you.